What's going on y'all? Today's adventure takes us to beautiful Panama City Beach, Florida. We're going to do some pier fishing, all right? Y'all voted for it uh, on the poll on my channel, and so today that's what we're going to do. We're going to do us a pier fishing catch and cook. Cameraman Ron's behind the camera, and we're going to go out here and see what's happening. Such a cool area. The, the water looks beautiful today. Looks clear. Yesterday they crushed the pompano at the pier, all right? So we're gonna to try to catch pompano and mackerel and different stuff like this. But this is a beautiful beach. If you're coming down to vacation the coast of Florida, take a stop to Panama City Beach because this is just such a cool place. I grew up doing a lot of fishing here as a kid. Angler up with friends. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Good. These are actually super smooth waves for the Gulf Coast probably uh i mean they look to be like eight seconds apart or better look at that one right there dude that's definitely a surfing wave right there all right folks we're gonna start fishing and i'm gonna use this little wiggler jig right here this is a pompano jig we're gonna do some blind casting first and just kind of see what happens yesterday they didn't start catching fish out here till about 10 o'clock so we're a little early and so we're just going to look and see if we can come up with something. Dude, y'all are not going to believe this. My very first cast. Are you kidding dude, me right I now? literally, on my very first cast, I caught a squid. Get look at that. that. Look at that on <laughs> my pompano jig. Is that not hilarious? We did a whole squid catch and cook video out here a few weeks back. It, it'll be linked in my description below if you haven't seen it. But look at that little guy right there. I cannot believe that my very first cast on the pier, I caught a squid. I thought my jig was fouled up and I was just reeling it in because I thought I had a messed up jig and it was a squid. <laughs> <laughs> should we should we make cameraman Ron eat some raw calamari? Oh, that's not happening. Not this trip. <laughs> we did confirm that you can buy fish bites at the pier. All right, we forgot our fish bites, and so we just bought them. I'm also going to put out a set rig right here and just see if it gets hit. That way, we've got a set rig out plus we've got dude i guess i can just stick it right here we've got our homemade sand spike right here look at that we've got a rod right here so if it goes over we're gonna be good hey, folks bro. we're gonna run down to the end real quick and see if we can catch some fish the pompano ain't happening right now we just ain't doing it so we're gonna run down there see if we can catch some spanish or blues or something like that all right let's see if we can get one up here Oh yeah. Dude, I haven't caught a fish off the pier in so long. Oh, he's on it. There he is. Oh my gosh. Dang it. He ate it and missed it. It's been so long, man. There he is. Got him. There he is. Oh! Dad it. Yep, they sure do. That's all right. We're going to get them right here. There he is. Got another one. Yep. I'm trying. <laughs> I got to catch something first. That gum flipper's gonna scare them all. Dude, there's been a bunch of them. I've hooked up twice and just haven't been able to put one on the deck yet, so. There he is, nice one. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, he's running around the front. That's a Spanish mackerel. Yeah, that is my first pier fish that I've caught in a very, very long time. I've caught squid on the pier, but I have not caught a fish fish. 
That's a nice one. Somebody lost their straw cap right there. See it in the water? I will see if I could catch it for them. A little short. Be a little short. I think that might be it. That might be a winner. Got him. I got a straw cap. That's a fighter, dude. He's pulling drag. He's pulling drag. Ugh. I don't know whose who's hat it is, but whoever's it is, we got it. Now we got to walk down there and see who. I don't know who's, who it is. I have no clue. Oh, he's on mine. Watch. Oh, he's on. There he is. Oh, he's off. That guy. There he is. Oh, man. Tag him. There he is. Nice one. All right. Let's flip him up. Nice little Spanish. Oh, and you kept him from hitting the deck. Good job, Brandon. I did. They're getting fired up right here, too, man. They're getting fired up. This is called a frayed leader right here. This is what happens when you hang Spanish mackerel. They fray it. This is 50 pound test mono. You can use steel. I like 50 pound test mono. Dude, is that guy caught in the rip current, Ron? Oh my gosh, guys, this person right here, he's caught in the rip current. Look at that. Hey, you need to swim out. Go that way and you'll get out of it. Oh, he can't. Uh, guys, this guy cannot swim. He just said he can't swim. He's getting taken further and he further out. Well. Somebody might as well call the Coast Guard because we're gonna. They're gonna have to. We're gonna have to call the Coast Guard. He ain't getting back in. That we'll dude ain't. No, I don't know. That dude. I think you do call like he's not getting back in. Look, the lifeguard. The lifeguard lifeguard's right. coming to get him, folks. Right before Ron called the Coast Guard. This actually, that actually could have been gotten real bad. That's good. We got a north wind. That guy would have been pushed out as far as, I mean, he would, there's no getting back. The lifeguard's like, let go of the stupid tube. Yeah, your tube's done. Oh gosh, did he just, oh, oh gosh. Oh God. He can't swim. Oh God. This is not the best scenario because the lifeguard, like when you get into a situation, it's almost like that guy's panicked. He is panicked. He's panicked. Oh, there he goes. He's getting back on. Absolutely. Oh, look, he's now swimming him in, but the problem is there is gonna be a fair amount of current. He's just pulling dead weight right now. He's telling the guy to kick and the guy's just not. Hey, it's Oh, he was, by the time the lifeguard got to him, he was in panic mode. Yeah. He was, he was done. Yeah, you're right. That's crazy, man. I'm glad they got him. Oh, you got a, you got a pompano, I think. It looked like a pompano when it hit it. Yeah. Oh, there he is. I got one too. I got one too. Oh, they're but mine's a blue, or no, mine's a Spanish. Okay, just kidding. Mine's a foul hook Spanish. He's a keeper. Pretty Spanish. That uh, the one right, uh, guy right beside me hooked a big one. If he'd have just got out of the float right here, and, but he said he couldn't swim. Cause I asked him, I'm like, can you swim? And he's like, no. So he couldn't get out of the float. Ron just said he saw a pompano flash. We hadn't seen pompano all day long. All right, so I broke the wiggler jig back out just to see if we can get on one. Yeah, that's where we've been catching them right there. Oh, I just got popped. Dang. 
He just hammered it. That was it, Brian. He was gonna bite too, man, and he, uh, there he is. Oh, we got him. We got him, baby, we got a pump. We got a pump. Yes, sir. Nice. I know that's what it is. Nice pump it out. Come on, baby. That's a good pump right there. That's a good one. Here, let's get down here. That's what we're after. That's kind of teamwork because Ron goes, hey, I think I saw something silver over there that looked like a pompano. And I'm like, ah, so I picked up pompano rod through. <laughs> sure enough, dude, cameraman Ron for the win, buddy. It's all good. I was right here, but it's, we can switch sides. Hey, the Spanish, the Spanish are right there anyway. Do we need to put our set line back out? I think so. So guys, I think the pompano are, are starting. I just got hit again all day. I've, I, I've seen one pompano caught, and that was the one that I just caught. So. Gotcha. Oh, oh. That felt like a bite right there. That felt like a bite. Oh, yep, there he is, he's coming to me. Another good one. Oh, we're good. Oh, yeah. Look, hook, hook pulled right when it hit the deck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Guys, look at this right here. No more hook in that fish. It pulled. Oh, 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 oh. We got one on the set rod. We got one on my set rod. Ron, grab the set rod. Grab the set rod. Guys, we just caught this pompano and our set rod goes off and Ron's got a nice one. Look at there. Oh, there's more with him. Look at how many's with him. Look at how many's with him. Yeah. Get him, dude. Awesome. Walk down with him, Ron. That's it. That's the one he has on. Yeah, that's the one he has on. Here, you got a line on the end of your rod. See what I'm saying? Oh, I do. Yeah, keep, all right, here, here, here. Let me see it. What if I just roll him straight up like this? Tighten the drag. All right, now reel him up and flip him over. Kind of leverage him over. Let's go, Ron. Got you, you Ron, you did your first pier flip, dude. That's right. <laughs> nice. Good. Look at that, guys. What you think, man? You got you a pump, dude. Dude, I'll take it. That was very, very unexpected at the end of the day, for sure. What a day. Look at this, man. Just such a beautiful beach day here in Panama City, Florida. Super clear water, white sand, lots of people on the beaches. That's what you want to see, man. Let's go eat some food. Are we going to get to eat real food tonight? Let's go eat some food. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if they heard that. Oh, oh there he is. Oh. <laughs> Hey, Ron. What's up? What are you all doing here? Hey, Melanie. <laughs> hey. Well, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I felt bad about the prank. Are in, you serious? In the other day's video. So we come, <laughs> we're come. we coming over to cook you dinner. That Can was one, uh, Come on in, obviously. <laughs> Not necessary, but come on in. Well, you know, we've been making you eat a, a ton of bad fish. Th this part's true. Okay. And so... We've got the bacon grease goddess herself over here, Melanie. That's her new channel name. 
and me, we're going to come over here and cook some fish. Can some we real just fish. let Melanie cook? Because I, <laughs> I, I mean, what are they doing here? Also, I invited Yak and Samantha. I smell tater salad! <laughs> <laughs> smells fantastic. I smell it. Melanie must be cooking. <laughs> We're having a party, Ron. Welcome, guys. I got Lee awesome. at a party that I didn't know anything about at our studio. That's great. So while the uh, Melanie's in there frying the fish, I'm going to clean some of these pompano now. And I'm actually, we're not going to cook them whole this time. You saw the last video that we, the pompano video that we made, we did cook them whole. But this time I want to, I want to fillet them up and cook them with the skin on. No, this one has you roe. already said we're not eating anything bad tonight. So this one has roe. Oh man. Yeah. So what we're going to do right here, we're going to cook these on the skillet with the skin on. I'm going to cut out the rib cage right there with a nice fillet like that. And I like to keep the skin on a lot of times with pompano. It gives it a lot of flavor. So that's what we're going to do to the rest of these. And we're going to take them in here to wash them off. And Just a lot of seasonings. That looks like it. We're going to coat it and fry it up. So that right there is a vermilion snapper that we caught offshore the other day. If you didn't see that video, go check it out, linked in the description. We caught a world record. Too. So that would have been two world records, but not still one. But did you get dethroned with that? I did, one? man. I'm no longer the all tackle pinfish world record holder. <laughs> <laughs> that's my, uh, vermilion snapper. Vermilion yep, snapper. that's gonna be good right there. We got some shrimp coming over here. You know, the turkey. <laughs> I'm excited about those right there. That's the pompano. It's not a party unless we have some shrimp to go with it, man. And I just found out Ron cannot eat shrimp, can you? I cannot. I am allergic to shellfish, so. And we're not putting the theory to the test tonight. I already know we're not going to try to kill Ron. Yeah, I was going to say. So is that from Are you sure? Is that from Joe Patty's? I know a place we can go catch our own shrimp. Let's do it. I don't want to do that one. Rob told me that the crabs are stacking up too. I think a uh, big lagoon. Or so we went up to Crestview and we, like, he was able to negotiate the price. Like, the lady was like, and almost shocked and like he offered like something lower but Papano is done all right folks dinner is served here's the last little bit of it right here and look at this spread we've got our fresh snapper from our offshore trip the other day we got our homemade tartar sauce we've got our fried shrimp and melanie's famous potato salad potato salad can't go wrong with that. That's awesome. This is looks good, guys. Let's dig in. Hey, appreciate y'all cooking. Man, that is so fresh, guys. We caught that pompano this morning. The only thing that's not overly fresh is the shrimp. We did buy those, but man, the snapper looks good. Man, how's the pompano, Ron? Excellent. We take it out in the surf, and we get you to hook a shark in it. <laughs> I've never caught a shark, so that could be cool. And then pull you all up and down the beach. <laughs> what if it takes me out like where I can't like get out? Well, we'll put a we'll put a line attached to you, and then when it pulls you out, we'll reel you back in. I don't know what kind of line you think's gonna pull this back in. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't none of us got no poles that big, buddy. Well, you can tell we didn't like it at all. Like, no, <laughs> no, it was amazing. I didn't like the stuff you fixed, but everything Melanie made was amazing. <laughs> the pompano, even though I got a bone. You know no, what? Pompano was great. It really was. All of it was amazing. The snapper was good. I didn't eat the shrimp because I wasn't trying to die tonight. Oh. Well, it was amazing. I tried. Ron, you don't want to just try one shrimp. No, Brant. <laughs> I want to just try one shrimp. Why would I want to try one shrimp? <laughs> I'm gonna end up in the hospital. It's shrimp. It's we good. have to film tomorrow, and you're trying to put me in the hospital yeah. tonight. I'm sure you have an EpiPen laying around. <laughs> <laughs> I'll per I will drive you to the Dude, hospital. We didn't have weddings tomorrow. <laughs> we don't till Saturday. That's right, we do. It is Saturday. I'm still not going to eat a shrimp, though. <laughs> Why are you on their side with this? <laughs> Wait. I don't know. Always sneak. We did just take out new life insurance policies. <laughs> Maybe that's what's happening right that's now. Good. I always well, try to sneak spinach in Jack salads. He's allergic. You know, I'm going to have to grab me one more bit. piece of this pompano right yeah, here. Because that pompano is money. 
Everything. I think the really uh, I think the pompano was my favorite. Yeah, me too. So good. It's funny because we always get comments in every video, and they're like, "You should have." Uh, uh, like, I'll get a comment about you got to cook them whole. You can't cook them like we did last video. <laughs> <laughs> we try to change things up a little bit. <laughs> you know. The so today's comments are from the offshore video that you put out. Why does Ron never catch fish? I'm like, I literally just put an entire video out of me catching fish. <laughs> Brant lets me fish. We just don't always put it in his video because I have my own video. Ron, actually, you actually caught a lot of fish on that offshore. Oh, yeah, a ton. A ton and, of fish. And I saw that comment today. They are like, do you need to uh, give Ron a break and let him fish? I'm like, <laughs> he literally fished. Yeah, Brant, you're such a slave you, driver, you know, man. Video like Brent's such a slave driver. Uh, here he's calling me again. <laughs> right. Jack, what are some common subscriber questions? Um, let's see. What happened to your boat? <laughs> God, the boat has been gone for a year, guys. Let it go. I got a boat comment today. I know. I know. I saw it. Like, I see them all. The boat has been gone for, it's gone forever. The Blazer Bay, listen to me right now. Listen to what I say to you. The Blazer Bay is not coming back ever. It's gone. gone. It's, it's gone. It's not coming back. It I died like yesterday. I mean, somebody even tried to steal it. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't hard for you to get rid of. That, that boat was, it was a great part of the channel for a long time. Yeah. But who knows? There may be a, a new boat, another boat in the future. Right. Like, you know, right now I'm enjoying what we're doing, getting to go out and catch. Awesome fresh fish like this. You enjoy it with good friends, good company. So guys, I want to thank you all so much for tuning in with us, having dinner with us here tonight. If you want to see more videos like this with all of us here, shoot me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, go hit that subscribe button. Anybody want to say anything? Next time there better be some bush light, okay? And Jack is like sponsored by all the beer companies. But here's <laughs> a fun, fun fact: we're not we're, we're like we're not we're not even really beer drinkers. Jack just wanted a cold one, I guess. Right. Yeah, the only thing I have to say is just remember: it might not be this week, might not be next month, but you got one coming, and I will get you back. Ron's gonna got a prank coming, so. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already shoot us a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. Your support means so much to us. We'd love to hear what you thought about the video in the comment section below, so please feel free to leave a comment. We appreciate each and every one of you for being a part of the Angler Up Nation.